Hello and welcome. Today we got something up this morning. So sit down, take a ride around, and enjoy. Now that's a cool toy. Hello and welcome to a new video! And I'm actually going to be able to use this fucking T-Pain microphone! T-Pain! What T-Pain? Tell us what's that. T-Pain! Pain. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, not this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. T pain. Yo, yo. Decompose in the house, motherfucker. Woo! What, what, what? Decompose with the pantyhose, motherfucker. Woo! Woo! All right. Enough of this shit. Today we are reviewing what the fuck with the lighting here? Masters of the Universe Modulock. <gasps> Wait, let me just <clears throat> Finally Modulock has come back to He Man! Masters of the Universe Classic Moju Lock. Sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. All right, so here it is, Moju Lock. So the new, or this year's, I should say, the newer He-Man classic figures, which used to always come in a uh, nice, slick, white mailer box, such as this. Look at that. Woo! Now come in this like cardboard recyclable type box. Assuming to save costs, but whatever it takes to keep the line going, I guess. So when you open it, you'll see we have Moja Lock inside here. Pinch him a little bit here and pull him out. that box aside and there we have Moju Lock. Pretty cool. I like the box in this guy already because it reminds me of the vintage box. Um, we're going to take a look at it quickly here with a few close-ups so uh, let's do it. So Moju Lock, Mr. Moju Lock, the beast, evil beast of a thousand bodies, comes with a bunch of parts. You can basically take him and rearrange him and make him to all kinds of different figures here. From uh, some pretty odd ones like a, yeah, like a fucking head and then a head coming out of his ass. To a, uh, a head instead of uh, arms here. And uh, his tail coming out of his neck. Um, again, to another Moji Lock with his head coming out of his ass. Here. And a whole bunch of other ones here. No head here. What the fuck that is? Head there. <laughs> head with a few legs. The most common interpretation of Moji Lock is a front one here uh, that you see on the box here, part of the evil horde. For those of you who haven't really seen Moji Lock in old He-Man episodes, uh, this face here actually doesn't exist. Moji Lock kind of looks like this in the show. Um, but yeah, the toy always had two heads. A little bizarre, but that's the way we had him as a kid. I mean, Moji Lock kind of looks more like this guy, if anything, in the show uh, right there, but... Needless to say, I like this look here, because here I have a vintage Moja Lock, right here, because I'll show you some size comparisons, so this is the vintage one here, 
And, uh, yeah. Always had the two heads out. And his gun actually split into two and formed, like, one weapon when you put them together. Now, this is the old one, so we're not going to concentrate on this guy. I'm going to concentrate on the new guy here for the new Masters of the Universe classic line. The box is very nice. Unlike the other packages, I find this package is a little bigger, but it's actually a lot thinner. So it's easier to ship uh, because it's actually smaller, probably because he's all in pieces in here, I would assume. Which we'll open him in a few seconds here. And there you can collect them all. And you always have Shadow Weaver in the back of these, which kind of pisses me off. It's so hard to get. How do you get to put some horde people in there? But Rattler's not part of the horde. Um, so here you have a bio on uh, Mojolok right here. Who is a real name, a Galen Nykoff. Okay, sure. Sounds good. So, all right. Let's uh, open up Mojolok here and uh, see what he looks so like. So, once the tray is pulled out, he kind of looks like this. Which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of parts, as you can see, to him. The guns are actually just like the original. Uh, the two barrel and the one barrel, and you can hook them together and form one gun, which is very cool. So you got the two heads. Got a whole bunch of different combinations, I guess, that you could put this guy in, uh, like you saw in the box. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just focus on one of them, focus on the one that looks more like the original uh, Mojolok. As I like them here. And, uh, yeah. So... We're going to make one like this guy, with this guy. So we're going to pull up the parts here. And, uh, yeah, do that up for you guys. Alright, so we're going to put Mojo Lock together here. Try to get him to look like this guy. The original Mojo Lock. The way that I like them. Which is kind of the way that he is right here on the packaging. So, first things first, we need arms. But we need arms that have little claws on them. So these arms here are the arms that we need. So basically you can mismatch, or mix and match I should say, all the parts here. So we take off these arms, like so, and then grab these arms here. And put those in there. Just push them in the socket. There, they got that one there. Push this one in here too. Ah. There you go. Already starting to look good. So he needs like six legs. So we need to extend, extend the anus. So we're gonna extend the anus here. <laughs> so we will use, I'm trying to think here, what part would you use? So this part first. That in there. There we go. The tail at the end can be anything you want. I mean, it could be this tail or this tail. I want to keep it looking like the original. I mean, we'll probably have two tails up there anyway, because the original did have two tails. Um, so what we could do instead then is from this part here, we could add one of the dividers in the back, one of the splitters, and then have that big tail on the top. And then have this other tail here at the bottom, like so, like that. And, well actually, actually that won't really work that well because these are the ones that will have the feet in there. So I kind of got to swap these, just like in the original one and put these, this one here at the top. And then this one here at the bottom like so and then you can take more of the uh the feet here the different feet so the next feet are these that show like in that order here in the order of this box a little different than the original one but we're going to do it this way anyways so i'm going to take these feet plug them in there those feet are like that. That foot's here, like so. In the back here, hole there, put the other foot in there. Again, like so. That going. Lift this up. 
push them down a little bit like that. All right. And then we can have the other feet here in the back. Put those in there. A little down like that. Same thing on the other side. Right here. Put this foot. And we'll have the back part like that. So, yep. Yeah. Alright. So that goes in there. You can mix and match these. You can make whatever you want with him. Um, I just kind of have a an idea of what I want him to look like. Because I want him to kind of look like the original one. So kind of try to kind of get him to look like that. So there you have this. I mean, we can have, if you really want to make him look like the original, you can put like extra arms here. So if you want to use like all the pieces in one shot, you can do that. So this here should show two parts. The only thing is, is if you do that on both sides, you're not going to have an extension to put the two heads on, which kind of sucks. It's almost like there's missing like one part here or something. I don't know. I'm gonna pull off the this part in the head here completely, completely off in order to put this in there. There, and you can set uh, the two heads on there. So I'll take this head back. Put that piece back in there. Set that one here. As so. Push it down a bit there. And then they get the blah, blah. <laughs> this guy. The other head here. There we go. See, I wish there was like one more of these parts here. One more of these. And I could put like all four arms out here. But since I don't. I guess I'm just going to put these arms in there. Like I kind of want to put all the arms in there, but I guess that's not going to work. It'll work out the way I want it to. You look like that picture here behind them, but still won't be exactly the way I would have wanted them. Unless I forget about this tail. That's about the only other way. I mean, it's not going to, the original, which is actually a lot smaller here than this one here. Because I got more parts. Here I can get a double tail and double arms. Here, because there's only three of these splitters here, you can only have two tails and one double arm with this thing. Or you can have one tail, take this off, and have like the double arms on both sides. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna get rid of a piece of tail. I know it's not like me. Plug that in here. And then I'll have the two pieces in the arms here. So I'll be able to set up the double arm, double arm look. Like the old module lock that I have. Which is cool, cooler, I think, to have four arms and six legs. And they have two tails. So that's what we're going to do. Plug those in. Again, you can do what you want. It's yours to customize. That's what's so fun about this guy. And there's another guy light mode you lock called Multibot. Which will probably be showing up in the He-Man world sooner or later in the classics. And then we'll be able to have these two... Uh, these two together as friends. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot cooler. It's more like, almost like Goro from Mortal Kombat. Definitely a lot cooler. Good choice, Kev. And then the gun, you can see right here. Holes there, the prongs here, just like the original. All I do is take the two guns and you push them together. And then you form one. And you can put the guns in his hand here. Put one part there. Look at that. Ain't that cool? 
an awful lot like the original. Except he's a lot bigger. Alright, let's get some close-ups of this guy. So, I mean, overall, this guy just looks cool. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like, the fun factor of posing him in all different poses and all that is just very neat. You can do pretty much whatever you want with him. Which is very, very neat. You can tilt these in a little bit like that. You know, you can do whatever you want. Like, totally customizable. Totally awesome. Make him look whatever you want to make him look like. Very neat figure for Masters of the Universe. The original one was cool. Came in a box. This one here comes in a box too. It's kind of cool to keep in that old schoolness alive. Size wise, he's uh, uh, yeah, sizably bigger than the original. It's not overly that big, but he's bigger. I mean, it's definitely got a lot more detail. Just, I mean, just look in the face here. A lot more detail, like in the heads and in the veins and all that sticking out than the original one here. But uh, yeah, a very, very awesome figure. So Mojalock definitely wins good points. If you haven't gotten this guy, go ahead, get him. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So um, until next time, <clears throat> I'm going to get my T-Pain microphone out again here. Because uh, it's what I do now. It's what I do. It's what I do now! So on behalf of Decompose and uh, Mojalock, take care guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. And also, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so take care guys. See you later. If you smell what the Mojalock is cooking.